Ladies and gents, we have a tour. Which, unlike August, looks like a tour. With wrestlers and fans connecting at levels agreeable to both. Just two months on from the world of fenced off wrestler pens, we have contact, meaningful contact, reminding us of what sumo should be. A source of power and joy to everyday folk simply needing a lift. Beyond doubt have we seen a Midas strongman touch. Of elderly couples reliving their youth. Of mothers with babies harking back to before they were mothers with babies. Of the wheelchair bound in numbers far greater than tournament days. And of anyone seeking validation from sumo contact. Each day brings two moments which continually impress. The one where the crowd gets its customized greeting in the sumo folk song, leading to rousing applause. And the one when the wrestlers report for ring entering duty, amid a taiko drumming barrage and are hurriedly mobbed, for the first time in years, by delighted fans of every age. Even referees are mobbed, for the shiny photogenic costumes worn by no one else, out of love for how sumo transcends the everyday. Personalities shine, as one fan said, not only of wrestlers, but of spectators and staff, all of whom are far more at ease than in tournament confines. Even bouts bring laughs, for they're not life and death, rather fun acts of homage to the sheer respect which binds this wrestler group. And the upshot for us, this channel, is that messages are far easier to deliver. Even to these big names. I will break down the tour's key moments thus far in the next few pieces. We have three dates to review, and three more to come.